I'm curious if there are three principles that you feel like are most important for people to keep in mind and to live by. Well, uh, one of them is a law of power that I've kind of lived by, ver you know, consciously and inadvertently, which is interaction with boldness. So most people are just too timid in life. They're afraid of failure. They're afraid of making mistakes. If I never try anything, then I never have to put up with criticism. I never have to put up with people scrutinizing me, right? So most people end up being too shy, too timid in life. And you've got to get over that. And you've got to learn how to be bold with your ideas and with your actions. So I try to make each one of my books kind of a statement and, and impress people with like a strong, you know, idea and not be afraid of criticism and not being afraid of controversy. So boldness has gotten me through life and I think it's critically important in, in this day and age. The second thing is something we've talked about earlier but it's knowing who you are, knowing yourself in depth, shining that mirror, looking inside, deep inside of you, who you are and what makes you different and going through that process in as profound a way as possible to, sh to know, to understand deeply what makes you an individual, what separates you from your parents, your siblings and your peers. And so that it's like having a radar system in you. So I know this about me and now this person is offering me this job. No, that's not who I am. That's not suited for me. Get out of here. Somebody offers me something else. Yes, that's me. Okay, I'll take it. It's like an internal radar system that'll guide you through life. The third thing is, it's knowing about yourself, but it's also knowing about people. And it seems like an easy thing, but the problem most people have is we are self-absorbed. We're more interested in our own thoughts and ruminations and our own ideas than, than the thoughts and ideas and experiences of other people. We will deny it, we'll, go, we'll die kicking and screaming, saying, no, that's not true, but it is true. It's because you're not listening to other people. You're not really fascinated by other people. And I'm saying empathy and the ability to truly listen to people and to get inside their skin and understand how they think, how they experience the world, how it's different to be them and what they're like is a not only a great form of therapy, because it gets you outside yourself, gets outside of your own self-absorption, but it's a very powerful tool. It will allow you to understand people on a deep level, understand their psychology, so you won't be making all kinds of mistakes and saying things that exactly the wrong thing to say to this person or that person. So developing a high level sensitivity to people, and it begins with being fascinated by people and their differences in their world. And that's to me an extremely important skill.